Together, let's draw the Lewis structure of potassium phosphide K3P. Now, anything to the left of the staircase is generally a metal. Hydrogen is the only exception. Potassium is firmly to the left and is definitely an alkali metal. Phosphorus is to the right of the staircase. It's a non-metal. When metals and non-metals combine, they form ionic compounds. The metals are going to give away their electrons to the non-metals. Potassium is in group one, so each potassium atom will bring one valence electron to the table. Phosphorus is in group 15. That means it has five valence electrons to start. One, two, three, four, five. Note that I spread them out before I started doubling them up, north, east, south, and west. Now, non-metals want the octet rule satisfied. That means it wants a full outer shell of eight electrons to be stable and happy. Phosphorus has five, which is more than halfway there, but it's still not eight. This potassium, as a metal, will gladly give up an electron. Now, phosphorus has six getting closer, where is it going to get another two? Well, if we build in another potassium, we can give it a seventh. That's cool, but it's still not a full octet of eight. We're going to need a third potassium atom to give away its outer electron. Now, phosphorus has eight valence electrons. Well, eight electrons in its outer shell. Let's draw that, a phosphorus with a full eight electrons in its outer shell. That's three more than it started with. That means the charge is minus three. We're going to have to show the three potassium atoms, which gave away the one valence electron that they had. So don't put any dots there, it gave those dots away but give it a plus one charge to show people that it lost one electron. Now, this potassium here is the same deal, and we need a third potassium because we required three of them to fill the outer shell on the phosphorus. It's not a coincidence that the formula is K3P. You needed three Ks to balance out the electrons of the P and give P the full outer shell. Now you might be able to take a shortcut in writing the Lewis structure here. You might be able to write three times K with that plus one charge, just saves you from having to write it three times. And then also show people the eight valence electrons on phosphorus with the minus three charge. Both of these are valid Lewis structures for potassium phosphide. I prefer this one personally, but hey, if your teacher likes this one, why don't you do it that way? Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.